Hey guys, it's uh, Casey Moraz here from Ethical SEO Consulting. I just wanted to talk a little bit about using Evernote for project management. Uh, if you read the blog post I wrote uh, on the Ethical SEO Consulting blog at www.ethicalseoconsulting.com, uh, you may be curious how we use it for project management, and it's actually changed a lot. This is the way that I've always wanted to use it, and with the business edition, it's actually now possible. So um, I'm basically going to be talking about uh, using Evernote for project management or managing a team or managing tasks and collaborating all your information in one place using this awesome program. Uh, and uh, basically, but I am going to be talking about just the business version, which is a paid service through Evernote. So uh, right now, as you can see, I'm on Evernote.com. And if you've never used it, obviously it's awesome uh, for those of you that, that don't know because Number one, you can sync it across all devices. So we're talking about my computer here, my laptop, my computer, my other office. All of those are all connected in one place here. And uh, so I can add tasks, I can add notes, I can basically remember anything basically just by creating a new note and then adding it to my account here. So uh, once that's done, I can share it with whoever I want, collaborate with whoever I want, and uh, just have all that information that's searchable, upload videos to it, upload products, URLs, documents, etc., whatever I want to do, uh, depending on the environment I'm working on. So uh, anyway, enough with that. Let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, again, this is the Evernote uh, website right here. You'll notice that they have the free version and everything that you can download. And that's cool. That's awesome if you're just using it um, you know, for yourself. But if you plan on collaborating with a team where you're going to need feedback and you want things moved into different notebooks and all that, you're definitely going to want to sign up for the Evernote Business Edition. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use the uh, website version as well, um, just so you can see it, but you can also have the downloaded application uh, on your website uh, or on your computer as well. So uh, this does cost money, like I said, and it uh, does cost, I think, $10 a license. Yeah, $10 a user per month here. So just so you know the cost and what you can expect. You know, other software that we use in the office, like Basecamp and things like that, or that we had used in the past, you know, you're talking about 100 bucks a month for, uh, you know, a certain amount of users and things like that, So or a certain number of projects, whereas this is more based on storage space and uh, users. So, uh, but let's go ahead and get started here. I'll show you the way that we use it since I believe it's kind of unique and I want to uh, explain how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to this sample Evernote that I created over here. And uh, first of all, you'll notice you have your, your personal notebooks over here. So up on the left-hand side, you'll see those. Um, that's all anything personal that I might have in there. And then over here, on underneath that, I have the business notebooks. These are business notebook sample ones that I created over here. All right, let's go ahead and start now by taking a look at this and uh, seeing how we would do this. So I use a generic folder structure where I create folders for every employee. Every employee has a notebook stack with three folders called employee name tasks, employee name completed projects, and employee name general. So if I were to do that here as a sample, I would go up here and click new notebook. And let's create this. So it's going to a new notebook. Let's call it employee name one tasks. So this is the tasks folder. This is where I would assign tasks to this employee. As you can see, it's over here now where I added this. And uh, you know, I could, I could uh, rename that if I needed to, but let's create those three folders that I talked about. So employee name tasks. So let's create another one here. Employee name one, completed tasks. Hit save here. Perfect. And then I'm also going to do that general folder for general information that I was talking about. So employee name general folder. And you'll also notice that um, these are all business notebooks and that's very important. If you're doing this in a collaborative environment, make sure you're doing them under the business notebooks. So I have these three here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add these to a notebook stack. Um, I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call it new employee just for the purposes of demonstration. Because I usually do the employee name is why I do that. So, And what a stack is, is just gonna hold these different notebooks that I created. So I can find them all in one place. So here's your task, completed tasks, etc. So let me go ahead and move these other ones here. And again, this is the web version of the program. So it is a little bit different um, than, the, than the, the desktop application, but it all works you know, very similar. So. 
So now that I added all these three folders in this notebook stack over here, I have a tasks folder, I have a general folder, and I have a completed task folder. There's no notes or anything in here. But if I wanted to assign a task to this employee, what I would do is I would just say, do this. Um, by default, it's gonna already show some information and I can add tags and whatnot, but um, I might put, I need you to research X, Y, Z, put this into my to be reviewed folder once complete. And I put a description of what I need. We have a template that we use that has due dates, things like that. And you can customize this to your uh, or own organization um, and you know objectives, whatever you want, and stick with that template. And so that way every note is the same and the format's the same. But let's say that I save this. This was the employee's task. I need you to research XYZ, put this into my to be reviewed folder once completed. Now that I've created these different folders down here, I created these all under my account. So what I want to do is I actually want to share these. And this should be done through the web version of my experience because it seems to work uh, from there. But always hit uh, share this notebook. And I'm actually going to share it with the other employee that is a business user in my account here. Since some of this information is confidential, I'm not gonna publish it to the business library because I don't want everybody to see it. Let's say I just want my employee to see it and maybe her manager. So I might do invite, and then I put her email address in here. And then maybe her manager. And then what I would do is, under individuals who, can, uh, who join can, is change this to modify notes or modify and invite others, depending on the collaboration I want them to have. So then I would hit invite. I'm not gonna hit it in this case because those are fake email addresses. Um, and you can send a message along with that as well. And I'm doing that with each one of these um, notebooks within this notebook stack. I'm sharing that all with that employee because when she pulls up her Evernote, she's gonna see this in here. Not only that, I'm also sharing a specific folder that I created or a notebook up here. It's Casey to be reviewed. Obviously my name is Casey and I have a to be reviewed folder in there that if I want to collaborate with my team and, I, and it needs my input or something, I have them throw them all in there. That way I can just take a look at it and say, hey, okay, this is the answer to this, this is what I want to change here, this is okay, etc." It just makes it very fluid in a team environment. So, going back to this uh, employee name, this task that I created, let's say that I am this employee and I go ahead and do this task, complete this task. Let's say, like it said in the note, oh, it needs to be reviewed once complete. So after I'm done with this task, I'm gonna change this to KC2B reviewed folder. And since we set up those sharing, the sharing and everything like that, it's gonna go ahead and go into that folder now under KC2B reviewed, blah, blah, blah. You can see all that information there. So uh, just something that uh, we're working on. So imagine that with your entire company. Let's say that you have a thought in the middle of the night using your mobile device or your computer or your iPad, whatever you're using, you can create a new note and assign it to their tasks, okay? Basically, nothing is gonna be forgotten in a team environment. It's all collaborative, it's all searchable. It works amazingly uh, if you're using it the right way. On top of that, uh, you can also have all your personal notebooks still, which are up here, where you're saving all your own information. Maybe it's your personal to-dos, maybe it's personal tasks that you need to complete, goals, things like that. And having all of that um, in one place is just invaluable to our organization. It really helps out to create an agile organization and uh, team collaboration. So, you know, just think about how you can use this in your own organization, modify those templates the way that you want them to be. Everybody uses it the same way, and bam, you're set to go. Another thing I just wanna talk about real quickly is the business library down here. We do have that with some generic login information and things that we use. We send that to people so that everybody in the organization has access to all of those documents. So, since it's on the cloud and everything else, um, you know, just kinda like Google Docs in a sense in that case for us where we upload all of our own documents to there and immediately have them searchable, immediately have them in one place and everybody uh, knows where to look so they're not asking questions all the time. So that's kind of a little video tutorial of uh, what we uh, do and how we use this for our project management. So, um, you know, definitely let us know what you think and we look forward to talking to you guys soon. Please leave your comments and uh, make sure to follow us on Facebook and read our blogs.